What's up everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more Chaos Gate. And we are picking up where we left off last time. It's day 64. And yeah, we're researching the seed. That's the thing that I think is going to drive the story forward ultimately. Right now though, we do have some missions that we need to execute in order to reduce the bloom. I've chosen these two because of our travel speed of our ship. But also as I sit here looking at it, these two sectors were already, or solar systems or whatever, we're already suffering from the bloom and if we let these two get worse they're gonna to go to a higher tier of bloom infection whatever that means so it could be bad for us I don't know maybe it gives the the AI more uh, buffs gives us some debuffs I don't know or pushes towards some really negative event we don't even want to find out about whereas this one is completely uninfected so we're going to uh, leave that one be Maybe there'll be a point in the game where we're fast enough to just hit every single bloom every time they pop up. But we're not quite there yet. Uh, we have another mission here where we have to win with only three knights in order to get the glorious deed requisition bonus. Uh, I'm not against it. The danger level is medium. The objective is to seek and destroy the bloom spawn. Uh, the warp surge risk is plus 20% per turn. Okay. And this is a plague marine, so a new type of enemy for us. These corrupted Astartes have dedicated their souls to the service of the Chaos God Nurgle. With their disgusting power, armor bloated with plague and corruption, they are highly resilient and immune to pain. So I imagine they're pretty damn tough compared to what we've been fighting. Which makes the idea of taking this mission with only three bros here all the scarier hmm okay um I'm excited to fight a new enemy I think we just go ahead and start the mission I think we do try it we managed to do it last time with some clever play I'm anticipating we'll be able to do it again don't quote me on that I guess uh, but yeah let's try it confirm in we are playing on a more develop psychic techniques to support you on the battle. Nice. Okay. Select this interface to choose from your available strategies. Awesome. We unlocked this in the last episode. What I was going to say is we're playing on the more normal difficulty. Uh, if we are playing on the harder difficulties, these might be da downright impossible. Uh, but for what we're doing now, it, everything seems fine. And I was happy with our squad last time as well. I thought we did all right. We unlock the stratagems. Let's Select see what this, this is all about. To load a stratagem into it. Later, you will gain access to additional slots. Cool. For now, you have only one stratagem available. Select Quicksilver. Can I do it twice? I guess not, huh? Okay. Well, how do I unlock more stratagems? But this is really strong, too. Target a knight who gains... 2 AP, that could be huge, especially with our melee bros. Um, range bros a little less huge, just because you're going to have to reload at some point. Um, you know. But just being in a, like a blob of dudes and just smacking them with that force halberd seems pretty sweet. Uh, these are the three bros we're going to use. I like having the heal if I'm only going to run three bros. Also, this guy teleports, which is pretty sick. Let's go. We do have other bros that we can use, though. Might want to start messing with their appearance a little bit, just to make them a little more standing out from the uh, the normal bros. Honestly, I know I think only one person gave a name suggestion, and I, f I totally have been forgetting to uh, to do that. But if you guys would like to leave name suggestions, that would probably be helpful in me remembering who's who. Because right now their names are just kind of 40k Warhammer nonsense. Planet classification, third world. However, all archival data has been excised. Scans suggest a mass orbital bombardment has occurred. Even in the broken husk of Exterminatus, our enemy has a cruel wit indeed. We must return his jest with fire and vengeance. 
They're saying this planet has already been hit by Exterminatus? I feel like there shouldn't be any... I've seen representations of what Exterminatus is supposed to do to a, a world. I feel like there wouldn't be anything left. Okay, objective, destroy the Bloom Swan, and of course they're going to put it as far away as possible. I think it, this map appears to have two routes for us. I don't know if we can jump down there. And then we have this route where it looks like we work our way through some cover. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's go in a visceral direction. As usual, we're going to lead with our just a car with his sick uh, Terminator armor. And let's be very careful how we move. Move slowly. Moving now. At your service. It will be done. Move slowly lest we trigger enemy actions that we can't in turn respond to. No real point in taking this cover. I'm just doing it as like a point of habit. Nice. <laughs> Check out this high ground. So that looks like something we can shoot and destroy. And the bloom is going to rise faster because of that, uh, that pox. Can we not maybe shoot some of this as interactable terrain, sort of? Your command? That would be nice. Let's move yes. here. Chaos stirs within the shadows. Okay. So this is a chance for us to Standing ready. try and make some plays with That's Overwatch. Fine. What is your will? Yes, sir. Man, teleport strike is something we unlocked in the last episode as well. That I really want to mess with. Still can't see him. Okay. I don't know if they're going to be on some sort of, like, roving pattern. Moving out. Yeah, if they're coming Rejoice. in this... Oh, wow, it's a whole squad. No okay. And they're clearly ranged, so they're not going to engage us the same lame way everyone else has. Is their Overwatch way better than ours? Or exactly the same? Stratagems. Vakir can now support you from orbit with powerful stratagems. Press to access the stratagems menu. Okay, it's up what here. Do you advise, Commander? I'm going to give it to our bro here. This is exactly who I want to give it to. I might use him to teleport and then just come behind these dudes and smash them. Um... But not before I go over here. And we're definitely going to grenade these dudes. They're tightly clumped. They've got tons of armor. And we want to take all that armor off. And it'll also disrupt... Here to serve. It'll disrupt their... Um, their overwatch. So let's, let's get that done. Let's move here. Get behind cover. I think this is a very good use of a grenade. We can also knock them closer to us. Maybe if we throw it behind them. Let's see how that works. Would also be sweet. Yeah, not quite big enough. I was going to say, it would also be sweet if we could... Um, knock them into some of this other stuff. But, here's the deal. We want to kill them now. 
I'm pretty sure armor regenerates every turn. So now's the time. Another grenade would be kind of good. It's just the most damage we might be able to do. Yes, come uh, on, but guys. our bro here has five AP, three willpower. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna feed into the bloom by fifteen percent, which does suck. Where is this guy? Where are you, man? Has a range of 15. Maybe we target this guy? Let's see. And we'll put ourselves behind him. Don't continue. Yeah, don't want to don't want to kick true. that door down. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and smack him again. No, four strike doesn't even kill him, so we definitely don't want to do that. Down. We're just gonna hit him twice. Blessed are our arms. God, that teleport, man. You Pretty sick. And then from here, we can go and smack this dude. Can't run past him, though. Alright, this guy is a little bit of a puzzle. We have to figure out the best way to do it so that maybe we can also kill this guy. <laughs> Clearly, just shooting is, is going to be good. Apothecary can't quite reach, though. Hmm. Standing ready. What can we do with you, sir? Just shoot, huh? Yeah, I guess we just take those shots. Advance it. Oh, nice! I forgot we unlocked that. That was pretty sweet. Are you done? Are you all out of action points? I guess so. Okay. Well, let's get behind some cover. Probably not great to be right next to each other. I don't think we're able to know whether or not we're going to get the benefit of our brother assisting our shots. Yeah, we just got to finish him. And then our brother here can... Honestly, he can just go ahead and give himself an Aegis Shield. Because I don't know what this guy is going to target. And we should definitely get behind some sort of cover. Uh, I don't want to come too close to this because I don't know what the AI, you know, how good they are at using it. I don't want to go there either. Um, maybe it's okay. Moving out. We'll get behind cover here. Let's see what this guy does. It's a good test. It's kind of a crappy test, but nice. I am honored by faith. All right, I'm not scared of this nerd. I'm not happy with the bloom percentage. We're definitely gonna have to deal with that. I love this. Can I not hit him from here? No, I can't. Let's yes. move up. Yeah, this weird little, like, divot he's in is quite annoying. And he's got all of his armor back. Advancing. 
Opening fire! Nice. Bonus two damage. Is that taking up my ammo? It might be. It's hard to tell. For Titan! As ordered. Blessed ammunition depleted. Go ahead and reload. This guy's awkward positioning is the only thing that's saving him. Let's go ahead and move here. Us moving is very important. Because we're more racing against the clock than anything else. This is going to trigger anyway, so we're going to use this. Affliction resisted. Interesting. Your service. All right, let's go. Would really love to make some use of this terrain stuff. Let's move here. Your orders? Move on swiftly. I am here to serve. Move to here. Taking position. What is your will? And maybe, hopefully, we can pull some enemies into this stuff that's My gonna is ever ready. allow us to get some one shots right when they spawn. Taking position. This is a pretty tight little corridor. Okay, it is an AoE. You're good to go, man. Yes, Commander. You're also fully loaded. So let's just get you moving. And then maybe even an Overwatch. The bloom has risen. Enemy forces gain plus one reinforcements. Whatever that means. How often can I do this? Only once, perhaps? I'll check on it every now and then to see what's going on. Standing ready. Yeah. Moving swiftly. I about to say, I'm just trying to get vision of the next enemy. This is a sea thingamajig, which we can harvest for research purposes. It looks a little bit like bait to me. Your command? Praise the Emperor. I do love to praise the Emperor. Seeking the tainted. Okay. We're gonna go and extract this. It will be done. It feels important to do. Hate positioning next to this barrel. Moving now. All right, let's hope they come more to us than I have to go to them, because it looks like there may be multiple squads here that we have to engage. I'm gonna change the angle a little. 
I can go straight down this corridor, perhaps, and, and get behind them. Remember, I also have two grenades in my back pocket. I am here to serve. Which I value pretty highly. Standing ready. All right, brother. I am with you. Okay, okay. We have activated their trap card. A warp rift is open. Enemies will spawn to defend it. Now we've got dudes in front of us and behind us. Pretty crappy situation. Um, we've got lots of terrain stuff to potentially make use of, though. Nothing immediately helpful. Could fall back to here. But we gotta destroy this, and it has a lot of HP. Lights our path. I mean, this is Grenade City right here. If I can get there. I'm not sure I can, but it looks like I can. This is going to be a better group to kill. That guy's got a gun. Obviously anyone with a gun needs to get the hell out of here. Let's confirm. And our placement makes it so that the ones that survive I think will be thrown to one side. Which might give us another grouping for yet another grenade. And we did blow up a bunch of crap. It set the ground on fire. Don't know if that's going to have any positive bearing for us, but... Yes, Commander. That's all good. Our bro here, man. We may want to just put him in a, a good position to do Overwatch from. There's no real... This is decent cover. I don't like that it's kind of us going backwards a little bit. I prefer to go forward. So if we're going to teleport... I think we want to teleport in a viscerally fashion. With Let me check this out real quick. Nope. Oh. And it feels like it just makes sense to shoot it here, right? I probably have shots. Not great ones, though. I'm not even sure where these the rest of these dudes came from. Just checking. Yeah, I'm okay with the either the overwatch this way or the other way. And it might be better to go this way. No, no, no. Don't. I'm going to shoot this way. Both are trained and ready. You got nothing left. You, sir, have 3 AP. That's three shots. I think we kill this one and we kill this one. Nice. Not so fast as the achievement we just unlocked. And our bro gets one more shot here. Yeah, let's just put it there. Um, Cybolt probably doesn't matter. 
Let's take him out. Hopefully that math doesn't come back to bite us. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. So many reinforcements, Jesus. He burned himself, which is nice. Okay, they pinned me. That's really bad. Pin plus time bomb seems pretty atrocious for us. Them killing themselves in the fire is great. I don't know if I can count on that. Though. Man, should I just be trying to destroy the bloom and forget about these nerds? Also, man, us only having three bros is really killing us right now. Yeah. Man, what are they spawning behind me? But two more chaos marines. We've made contact with the enemy. God dang, this sucks. Because the thing is, let's say I seek and destroy the bloom spawn, I probably still make me have to survive this. I'm so close to destroying that. I do have to reload. I am here to serve your orders. What is your will? I don't think I can even deal with you guys right now. This is a nice option. Probably doesn't get any better than that. I've got to get these guys out of here. It's three kills. Destroys the Overwatch. For the Emperor. Get up. What I'd really like to do is is blow this up and get these three guys out of here too. I'm pinned. Unleash me. Is there a way to like disarm this? What's the range on this thing? No. That's not gonna help me either. Your command? I'm tempted to get this bro over here. But it feels like a bad idea not to consolidate power. Also feels like a bad idea to put any one brother. This is going to get him out of the bomb. But man, this this like super fast warp surge deal is terrible, man. Confirm. Ah, he was one of the chosen. I can gain a bunch of armor. This is your way. What kind of shots do I have, man? Kills Something probably greater than everything. At your service. My blade is ever yes, Commander. And then it might be time to use our Aegis Shield. Depending on what I can do here. I was gonna say if I could get this kill, that might be worth. I can get one additional kill here, but I'm not convinced this guy won't just kill himself. Let's just go ahead and give ourselves a ton of armor. Is 
since we can't move anyway, and we know we're gonna get shot. Damn. Five damage, it looks like, what it did. We do have a heal. But I think we're gonna take some serious damage. I'd love for these two guys back here to just stay there. Pretty happy with the burning. Maybe we shouldn't be taking all of these uh, really hard caveats to these battles. Because we could really use a fourth grill right now. Strong we shall stand. And right now, I think the best offense is a best defense is a good offense. We need to get rid of these guys. But look at all that Overwatch. You will bleed. Weak. Die! 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 Yeah, being pinned is the worst, man. What a powerful Loaded. ability for these like weak dudes to have. The ability to make it so that I can't move. Pretty strong. Oh, and that thing attacks us too? Oh, we're dead. Barely a scratch. And they're gonna trigger another bloom? What the heck, game? Should I have been like stealthy? Is Stand that what we're ready. is that what we're doing here? Your command. I'm kind of curious what happens if I just try to kill this thing. My focus fails me. Four strike looks like it does less damage somehow. Maybe this thing has some sort of attribute. Down. Where it gets stronger somehow? I don't know. There's no way out of this. We're Stand just straight up dead. What the actual heck? I don't know what to do with this other than perhaps reload. Yeah, sorry guys. I, I honestly don't know what to do with this. It's our it's our first like potential glorious loss. I, I don't think there was anything I could have done different other than not take the, the extra challenge here and have a fourth brother to help us with all of this. We're just getting completely overwhelmed. Can do a heal. This might be a good time to check to see whether or not we take Overwatch fire from healing. It looks like we did. Although I can't tell, maybe we moved. I don't know. Yeah, we have no other. It's our other bro that has like a massive ranged psyker attack that does AoE that this brother just doesn't have. Are they just behind cover? Is that where they're taking no damage? Or do I have some sort of debuff I'm not aware of? So they may as well go out in a blaze of glory.
Let's make this go fast. Is there a very fast? I mean, we could have just got unlucky. Maybe we pulled one of these groups at a really bad time. Maybe we came in from the completely wrong angle. Maybe we used too much Psyker ability. Maybe we needed to go rogue here. I don't know. But this feels like a perfect combination to screw us out of here. They got a warp. They got additional reinforcements. They just got so many advantages from this. I don't know what the hell we were supposed to do. killed it. Just see what happens. I think if a brother falls like this, like our two brothers have, they become somehow like permanently crippled, which obviously we don't want. You will bleed. It bleeds. It bleeds. Die. 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 I'm just kind of hoping this broke and last a turn just so I can see what's happening. Honestly, can't believe we survived that, but here we go. If I shoot, does that trigger Overwatch? I have no willpower left to do a teleport to get out of this situation. Spawn have become far more powerful than we realized. We must redouble our efforts, Commander. Yeah, I, f I feel pretty screwed here. Huh, well let's... I don't know if I'm going to accept these results, guys. Let's, um... Let's see what the... What happens here. Learn from it. And then when we come back next time, I'll probably have just done this mission. Or I'll, I'll bring you guys in near the end of it. Yeah, because we gambled... Requisition there. Does anything Critically happen? Critically wounded knights will survive their injuries as long as they have at least one resilience remaining. They okay. will be restored to active duty once they have recovered in the Apothecary. Okay. And the resilience is this skull here. Looks like maybe the higher level you get, you get like an additional resilience. But I'm actually going to call it there, guys. That kind of took a lot out of me. Um, I'm, I'm going to call it for today's episode. When we come back to this game, uh, I'm going to have this mission getting beaten. I think that was kind of a confluence of events there that conspired to destroy us. Um, I don't know if I could have played better and uh, and beaten that. But yeah, when we come back next time, I'll take that fight again. It'll It's not going to be a significant portion of the episode. Like I said, I'll bring you guys uh, in near the victory. Tell you a little bit maybe how I did it or what changed. And then we'll get more... Uh, into the game. We'll probably end up having another fight on a different planet and we'll take it from there. But that's it guys. Take care. As always, I'll see you in the next one.